can I do an old um, Crystal Lewis song? Tiny. People get ready. Oh, I love that song. Um, I think it's appropriate because we don't have long. You know, I mean, maybe you've been here in all your life. I have too. And I've wandered in the wilderness for 25 years. I've strayed away from God so far. I've only come to him with my whole heart in the last few years of my life. I've only come clean and come honest and, and decided to just bear my soul for the world and follow Jesus with all my heart. And let me tell you, it's different when I say it this time. When everyone else says it, listen to them. It really is the end times. It really is close to the time when Jesus comes back. Signs of the heavens, the stars and constellations and the orbit of the planets, the position of celestial objects, signs and creation and nature itself and the weather and the animals and the way men treat each other. And men are doing exactly what the Bible said they would do. There are scoffers who deny his return. There are people who they're lovers of themselves and they despise anything that's good. I just feel it in my bones. If I can say that, I feel it in my spirit. And sing, get ready. Can you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit? Can you hear what the Holy Spirit says? Get ready. Sin says sin.
If you're ready, praise God. You are going to sleep so well tonight. You're going to close your eyes on a pillow and you're going to know no matter what anything happens, you're going to wake up in His arms. And if you're not sure of that, you can be. All you have to do is ask Him. There's something that His Holy Spirit reveals to you that, that you need to get right with Him or confess. Will you do that? Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight in the name of Jesus, your Son. God, I pray for my friend. Just give them the assurance tonight that they are ready for your soon return. Bless them, Father. Plant the seed in their heart. Let it fall on fertile ground. My friend, will you, will you pray with me now? Let's pray together. Come on, I'll pray with you. Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. If there are things that I've done that displease you, God, I ask you to forgive me. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in the blood of the Lamb of God. Set me free. God, I also forgive anyone who's wronged me. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask you to help me get to know you, the real you, and to prepare me and get me ready for your soon coming return. Cleanse me, wash me, purify me. Fill my lamp with oil so I can be like a wise virgin with oil in my lamp. Let me be like a bride adorned for her husband for when the bridegroom returns. God, prepare me, prepare me, prepare me. Help me get ready. I know you're coming back soon. Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, just get in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If you don't know him, you can get to know him right there in his word. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to me, but you're better off talking to him. I'm a dead sea. I'm an airhead. <laughs> I am a real serious airhead. I can't remember where I leave my keys. Sometimes I forget what I'm where I'm going when I'm driving. I drive past my own house. I, but Jesus, he's divine. He's the son of God. He, he can understand everything you're going through and love you perfectly. And yet he has the power. He has the power of, of, of God himself at his disposal. So there's nothing he can't do if you ask him, if you seek him.